Welcome back. What's going on YouTube? Today we're doing CTF Collection Volume 1. And it's a collection of multiple CTF challenges around 21, 28. Uh, sorry, 20 challenges. So basically the idea behind doing this room is to help you build the individual skills that are required when you do a complete CTF challenge or when you do a complete uh, machine challenge. So basically we will start today with um, task 2 and we will make it till task 10 and after that we will be carrying over in the next upcoming videos. So okay let's start with task 2. So basically task 2 it's all about decoding a page 64. So you copy that and you go to Cyberchef. So Cyberchef is a very important tool and useful actually to help you decode and encode. So we select from page 64, we put the input and we get the flag. That's for task 2. Now task 3, meta, meta, meta. So basically it's hinting towards metadata. So we download the task files, go to my virtual machine and here as you can see I have downloaded the files, all of the tasks. So we have task 2 here. Task 6, 4, 3. Let me check them out one more time. So it's task 3. Yeah, it's here. So meta, meta, meta. It means we have to reveal the metadata. So one common way to reveal the metadata in an image file is using the exif tool. So we say exif tool task 3 and here we are presented with the metadata information about the image as you can see we have file name the directory the file size all of these are considered metadata so it's data about data basically so we have here the owner name which happens to be the flag we're looking for okay so let's copy the flag All right, so task four, Monday, are we going to be okay? Something is hiding, that's all you need to know. If you download the task files, you will see the task four file is also an image. Okay, so if you go back, so it's saying something is hiding. And normally in image files, we can hide text files inside of image files. We can do that under what's called the steganography. So we can here, use the tool stegohide to reveal the hidden information or the hidden files inside an image file or a media file. So stegohide-f extract task 4 let's see I think it's f extract or let's make sure that this is correct with the help menu So here dash sf, we specify the stego file. Okay, that's fine. And I think we have to select the mode extract, extract data. So what was wrong with the previous command? Dash dash extract. Okay, let's try this. Dash dash extract. Dash dash stego file. So enter the passphrase. As you can see, the steganography here um, is protected or the hidden file is protected by its passphrase. So you could try with a blank passphrase, see if this works. And it seems that the blank passphrase worked. Both extracted data to final message. Unless if we cat final, it reveals the flag. All right, and task five, ERM magic. Huh? Where is the flag? So here, basically, what you have to do, it's actually funny. You have to highlight 
the ha where is the flag and continue highlighting until you reveal the text written in white which happens to be the flag so just do that QR such technology is quite reliable so if you download the task files you will see that the file is actually a QR code so sometimes we can hide information or files inside QR codes the way to reveal them you can use tools or we can use online ones so basically I'm going to use the online tools so here I can copy the link let's see where is the link just going to search for it okay let's use this site I guess I have to, to use it here okay so we open Firefox we navigate to the site upload the image and you will reveal the flag And this is what was hidden inside the QR code. Take the flag, copy it, and go back, submit, correct. Reverse it or read it. So here we have reversing challenge. Both works, it's all up to you. Download the file. And upon downloading, guys, I opened the file using Ghidra immediately. So as you can see here, the, main, the, the first thing we do is we take a look at the main function. So this is the main function here. It just prints out, hello there, wish you have a nice day. That's what it is doing. But on the other hand, we see we have other functions that have not been called. Right, for example, we have this function. Okay. And we have this, we have this. All of these are some of them are void functions and some of them are functions that actually do something but they are not called as you can see here in the main function and also we have skip it happens that the skip function prints um, a statement the statement here is a flag so basically that's how you find the flag for this challenge just look at the functions I think it's not copying the flag correctly. Let me highlight this one more time. Right click, copy. All right. Let's see if you can copy it here. Okay. There is another way to find this flag, by the way. If we go to the command line and we start radar so we start the analysis and then we display the main function so this is the main function as you can see all it does just prints out this hello there wish you have a nice day and then it calls the puts function so if you want to reveal all the functions in radar we can type AFL and here we reveal all the functions. As you can see, we have this function skip that's among these functions. We can also display the value of all the registers. Let's go to the radar here and because we cannot remember all the commands. So we go to radar. So we printed out the list of all the functions. We printed the main function. We saw that there is a function that isn't being called and this function happens to be at this address so simply by finding the value of this address you can extract the flag okay then 
so let's exit and on to the next one another decoding stuff can you decode it so if you cannot determine the type of the encoded string you can go to cyberchef here and select magic this will auto um, determine or guess the type of encoded string so if we type here the encoded string you see it's now from base 58 so it's base 58 and here is the result okay left or right left right left right right 13 is too mainstream solve this so basically right 13 is a crypto algorithm we can take this go again to cyberchef it's the fastest way search for rot 13 as you can see this is the output so apparently it didn't work so maybe we have to change the amount here so start with maybe two three four five six seven so this appears to be the right one okay make a comment no downloadable file no ciphered or encoded text i'm hungry now i need the flag so basically here there is no encoded string to decode there is no cipher text there's no downloadable file nothing to do so yet they require you to extract the flag so basically what we can do here the only thing we can do here is to inspect the elements so we go to task 10 inspect this and immediately we are presented with the flag this is it okay guys so that's it for this room 10 tasks and upcoming videos we're going to do the next 10 tasks so thank you for watching